Hello, hello, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to encrypt and password protect an external hard drive that you have using Mac OS High Sierra. Now, before we get going, um, there are different ways to do this, lots of third-party software, some that even comes on Western digital hard drives. Personally though, um, I'm a fan of just using the built-in tools that come with uh, Apple computers and I've also had some issue using Western Digital's password protection in the past. Um, I just think the built-in tools that come with Apple's computers are more seamless. So that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using a utility that you have on your computer called Disk Utility. So you use Spotlight to find it, Disk Utility, hit enter, and then go up to the top, select View, Show All Devices. So this actually shows the like the actual hard drive. Um, before, what it was showing was actually volumes or partitions of the hard drive. Um, but you don't really need to, to worry about that. So select the hard drive, not the volume. Um, and then the process for encrypting a drive, you actually have to erase the whole drive and reformat it so that it is, the whole drive is encrypted and password protected. So uh, when you have the actual hard drive selected, then click erase then type in a name, I'm gonna call it master eight terabyte. Now, the format, this can get really intimidating. When I opened this up, I was like, what the heck um, am I supposed to select? So, uh, I'm gonna walk you through, you know, which one to select. So you can ignore the bottom two um, because those don't have encryption options. So we're left with one, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit better, but still which one? So if your hard drive is a solid state drive, you will want to choose um, probably one of the top uh, four choices. However, Apple File System is what APFS is short for. That only works for Mac OS High Sierra and future versions of Mac OS. So if you format it with I Apple File System, it will be speedier, quicker, um, optimized. It's it's a better form file system for solid state hard drives. However, if you plug it into um, a Mac running, let's say Mountain Lion, it wouldn't be able to read any of the information on it. So that's kind of a personal choice that you need to make on you know what you're gonna be using your drive for. Um, so let's say you don't have a solid state hard drive or you want it you know, to any Mac to be able to connect and read data on the drive, you'll go with Mac OS Extended. Um, fun fact, what journaled means is it simply has a feature that um, it, like journals, like journaling and notebook, um, takes down um, information about what you're doing with the drive and can help prevent data loss. Um, so that's on every single one, so it's not an option, but just fun fact. Uh, so we'll select encrypted. We're not gonna do case sensitive. So what case sensitive means is that those two file names on screen would be considered different files on a case sensitive drive. Now, most drives are not case sensitive. So when transferring data from a case sensitive drive to a non-case sensitive drive, it's very likely that uh, one file could overwrite another file and result in data loss. So in general, good rule of thumb, unless you really need it for some reason to uh, stay away from case sensitive drives. Um, so the option we're gonna choose because I don't have a solid state drive and uh, I want it to you know, be able to be read by earlier versions of Mac OS, we're gonna do Mac OS extended journal encrypted. Um, and then you will type in a password. And hit choose. Okay, and now we get to scheme. So open up and if you see these three options and you're like, what the heck, I don't know what to do. Um, just choose good partition map and move on. But uh, I wanna explain kind of what these are, what they're for. Um, in short, doesn't really matter what you choose if you're just gonna be using this as an external hard drive to backup data on. Um, I'd still recommend going with good partition map though. Um, what these are really important for is uh, if you're using an external drive as a boot drive for your computer, um, you'll want to use 
good partition map for um, if your computer is an Intel based chip computer. Uh, if your computer is a PowerPC, you'll use Apple Partition Map, and then Windows Linux, you would use uh, Master Boot Record. But anyways, we're just using this drive to back up data to... Um... Now, security options. What is this? This is actually how many times uh, disk utility will erase the drive. So fastest through most secure. This is uh, one erase, two erase, three erase, and this is seven erases. I'm just trying to um, reformat the drive so it's encrypted, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to do fastest. And then you select erase. Now, while it goes through that, um, I'll show the details so you can see the progress. Um, if I had selected the volume instead of the actual hard drive and hit erase, I may have gotten um, an error. And it would say media kit reports not enough space on device for requested operation. And the first take when I was doing this video, that's what I got. Um, it seems like an error with Mac OS Sierra and High Sierra um, that it's doing that. Not entirely sure um, why it's not able to, you know, encrypt the whole drive when it, the volume is selected, not the hard drive. Um, but the way around it, that error is by selecting the drive like I did. Um, and then, as you see, it's successful. So just wanted to touch on that because there's probably a lot of people that um, get that error and don't really know what to do. And there's some kind of convoluted answers out there um, and not quite as easy as just selecting the, the hard drive. So anyways, hit done and boom, the hard drive is now encrypted. So I'm going to inject it here and plug it back in and show you what it's like. So I just plugged in the external hard drive and it's in the process of mounting. And yes, now it pops up this little window for me to enter the password. I type in my password, hit unlock, it unencrypts the hard drive and then mounts it on my desktop right there. So that is how you encrypt a hard drive using Mac OS High Sierra. Hope you learned a little bit more about hard drive partitioning all that good jazz. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.